Hello and welcome to this video for Excel Chapter 1 Mid-Level Exercise Number 1. We're on page 479 of your textbook. Page 479 of your textbook. I'm going to get started reading the information on the top while you get turned there. Uh, get turned to that page in your textbook. You manage a beach guest house in Fort Lauderdale containing three types of rental units. Prices are based on peak and off-peak times of the year. You want to calculate the maximum daily revenue for each rental type, assuming all the units are rented. In addition, you will calculate the discount rate of off-peak rental times. Finally, you will improve the appearance of the worksheet by applying font, alignment, and number format. So we're going to do step A here, which is open up Excel Chapter 1 Mid-Level Rentals file. So you should have downloaded that. I'm going to click Enable Editing here because the next part, it tells us to save it, add in course and underscore and, our na and your name. So I'm going to make sure it's in the right folder. Right now I'm in Downloads. I need it to be in the correct folder. So in your case, your flash drive, underscore my last name and my first name. And then I'm going to push Enter here to save it. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for right now, make it more visible to you. All right, it says here, step B, we're going to apply heading one cell style to range A1 through G1. So let's select A1 through G1, which you'll notice it's already merged together. So we're going to click on the more button over here in the si styles group, and we're choosing heading number one. Then what we're going to do is it says, and 20% accent one cell style to A2 through G2. So I'm clicking on A2 through G2 and selecting 20% accent one. So uh, you can see here in the theme cell styles, that's what it's talking about, theme cell styles, 20% accent one right here. All right, step C, it says merge and center peak rentals in the range C4 through D4. So C4, which is right here, and D4. So I selected that, peak rentals, C4, D4, and then um, merge the center. And then over the two columns of the peak rental data, and it says apply dark red fill color. So I'm going over here to fill color, that paint bucket. Dark red is what I'm looking for. So in standard colors is dark red. And it says apply white background one font color so white background one font color now notice keyword font so that way we know it's dealing with the font here so um, right there it's in the very top left it looks like this now Step D, merge and center off-peak rentals in range E4 through G4. So right here, off-peak rentals, I select the two E4, oh, excuse me, E4 through G4. Over the three columns, merge and center it. So I'm clicking merge and center after I selected it. And then apply blue fill color. So over here, click on not that one. This arrow right here, blue fill color. And we're choosing white background one font color. We already selected it earlier, and now you can see the color choices there. Step E, it says center and wrap the headings on row five. So we're going to select all those, center it. So right here, center. I've selected A5 through G5. And so it's centered, and then we're going to wrap the text. Now it looks like this says to adjust the width of columns D and F if needed. So I'm going to actually do that. Let's stretch that out a little bit. Now what I could do, no, that's not going to work. So I'm going to stretch it out enough. I do want it to just display um, like that. So you can see how this one's got the M on the next one. They should be just two lines. So let's stretch each one out just a little bit here, enough that it goes to this um, view. And it says center the data in range B6, so B6 right here, through B8. So B6 through B8, we need to center the data. 
There we go. Step F, it says create and copy the following formulas. It says calculate the peak rentals maximum revenue by multiplying the number of units by the peak rental price per day. So we're figuring out maximum revenue right here for peak rentals by multiplying the number of units per day. So um, I'm going to put in the equal sign. I'm going to click on the number of units first, so B6. I'm going to put an asterisk after that. So you can see here B6, X, asterisk. And then after that, we're choosing the per day part. So that's essentially what the textbook told us. B6 multiplied by C6. And then we can push Enter. And it calculates it for us like that. Then it says calculate the off peak rentals maximum revenue by multiplying the number of units by the rental price for off peak. So I did this one, I'm multiplying these two together. For this one, it's going to be this cell multiplied by the number of units. So let's put in the equal sign first. Let's go over to the number of units, click on that one. So I click on B6, and then I'm going to put in the asterisk here for multiplication. I'm going to choose the per day rental price for off peak rentals. So B6 multiplied by E6, and I'm going to push enter and create 720 there. Then it says we're going to calculate the discount rate. So calculate the discount rate for the off peak rental price per day. So for example, using peak and off peak day values, the studio apartment rents for 75% of its peak rental rate. However, you need to calculate and display the off-peak discount rate, which is 0 0.20 for the studio apartment. So to calculate the discount rate, to divide the off-peak per day rate by the peak per day rate, <laughs> and subtract the result from 1, which represents 100%. So let's do that right now. So we're going to type in here in the formula bar. So equals, and it said, I'm going to read again to calculate this, we're going to divide the off-peak per day rate. So click here on cell E6, divide that by, so a slash, because this is division, the peak per day rate, which is over here. So C6, so E6 divided by C6. And then it says, subtract that result from 1. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to type in the number 1 minus, I'm going to put an opening open parentheses here, like that, and a closing one which represents 100%. Because we wanted to calculate first what's in the parentheses and then minus that from 1, because that's what it said. So I'm typing in 1 minus, and then of course opening um, parentheses, closing, you got E6 divided by C6. So I'm going to push Enter, and it gives me um, the discount rate right there. Format the monetary values with the accounting number format. So we do need to do that. So I'm going to select, I'm going to go through and select the ranges here. So this is money here. So actually we can just go through and do it like this. Let's start with C6 and select down through a, uh, G8. So C6 through G8. Oh, no, let me try this again. <laughs> we don't need column G. So C6 through F8, excuse me, and we're choosing the counting number format. And the reason why we're not doing column G is because format the discount rate right here with percent style. And it says with one decimal place. So we do need to choose to increase the decimal place. Adjust column width if necessary to show data, which we haven't had to do that yet. And then one thing we need to do here is go through, so maximum revenue, let's double click the fill handle, so that fills this in. 
Let's go to maximum revenue for off peak. Double click the fill handle, fill that in, and then right here, discount rate. Click on that cell, double peak the fill, or double click the fill handle, put that in. The only column we really need to adjust at this point then is column D because the one number is having a little bit of trouble displaying. And it's not by a lot. You'll notice I just barely move it. So when I look at yours, it shouldn't be noticeable that you went and stretched it out. All right, we're on step H here of our exercise. Only a few steps away from the end. It says apply to us uh, first off to the range E5 through G8. So let's select that E5 right here per day to G8. So there we go. The off-peak rentals information it says apply the fill color so over here fill color click that arrow and it says blue accent one so this is accent one lighter eighty percent right here click that and then it says step I select range C5 through D8 so C5 through D8 the peak rental section apply a custom color so what we're going to have to do is we're going to click that handle or the arrow excuse me click more colors and we're gonna go to custom tab custom now this is a little bit different um, and for the colors it says we need to enter in and I'm just gonna type it in 242 for red and then click down here in the green and type in 220 and then click down here in the blue and type in 219 and what you're gonna do is you're gonna push enter once you put in those changes um, there and it will apply that color alright step J it says answer the four questions below the worksheet data if you change any values to answer the questions change the values back to the original values so um, you can see we've got here these questions I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing I'm not gonna actually answer them here Oh, I need to stretch this out a little bit now you notice I have mine zoomed in a certain amount and zoomed out. Sometimes you just have to adjust it because of zooming in and out. So you may have to adjust it. You might not need to adjust it if you change as you go. Um, you know, we'll have to see. Um, what you may need to do too is even put it back to 100% and make sure um, it displays properly that way. So you can see I had 100% mine shows up correctly. Okay, I'm not going to answer these ones right here because I want you to fill these in on your own. So the four questions, you're going to do that. It'll take you a little bit more time here, um, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to jump to step K because um, I'm going to be skipping past that. Step K, create a copy of the rental, uh, excuse me, rental rates worksheet. Place the new sheet to the right side of the original worksheet, worksheet and rename the new sheet formulas. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is let's create that new worksheet and it says we need to name it formulas so I create a new one I name it formulas and then what I'm gonna do we did this in the last one is I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna tell it to not show the grid lines because we don't want that going through the screenshot we're gonna put up go back to the rental rates and it says um, we're going to be showing the formula. So let's, um, you can go to the formulas tab up here, formula auditing, and of course, show formulas. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this information here. So A1 through G8. And then of course, let's go to the home tab. We're going to choose cut, or no, excuse me, not cut. We're going to choose the arrow next to copy and choose copy as picture. Of course click OK. And then let's go to formulas. We're going to click in cell 1, which is already there. And then we're going to choose to, um, I think it was we right click the row 1 heading. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Now let's just actually try this. Let's just choose paste. There we go, that works. So click in cell A1 and choose paste. There is my wonderful formulas picture. Let's go back to rental rates and choose the formulas tab. And of course, tell it don't show formulas anymore. So it's back to normal. And so we just completed the step K. 
All right, step L, we're gonna group the worksheets. When it says group the worksheets, it means we've got one of them selected. I hold down control, click on the other one, and now they're grouped together. You can see there's that green line, both of them are selected. It says we're gonna select uh, here page layout and choose for the orientation landscape. Then it says um, we're going to set the margins, so margins to one inch, which if you just do, I believe, wide, that will do for you. And it says center the information horizontally on the page. So let's click the page setup dialog box launcher. And then we're going to go to margins tab and tell it uh, check horizontally. So um, I did it through the margins button here, but we could have actually adjusted the margins all right here as well, the same way. Uh, and then it says click insert, or and then of course it says ins insert, excuse me, a footer. So header and footer, I'm going to choose custom footer after clicking the header and footer tab. In the left section, it says we're typing in our name. So Mr. Rogers, my first and last name, not really. Then the sheet name code in the center section. So I click in the center section, choose the sheet name code. And then I'm going to click in the right section, and it says to do the file name code. So click in the right section, file name. I insert it there. And then uh, I'm going to click OK. And then you click print preview. print preview here so we can take a look at it and make sure everything prints on one page so I click I have one selected I go to the right one we notice it takes two pages so what I can do is I can choose where it says no scaling fit sheet on one page and of course it scales it and now it's at two pages and we're good to go there and then let's press the escape button so what we do for uh, making um, this here we click on the page we have in page layout we make sure grid lines print and also headings print as well for sheet options so just like that uh, then what we're going to do is step N it says to save and close your file so I'm going to show it to you very quickly here are two I'm going to ungroup these here so um, I'm going to right click ungroup rental rates needs to look like this and the formulas worksheet needs to look like this all together in one workbook. It's named this here. Uh, and that is how you complete mid-level exercise number one.